Okay, this is a one-way valve here. Okay. And you can see we have a spring right here. You see that spring? Now we have to take that spring out of there. There's a spring. Okay, so now that the spring and the nuts taken off, this this can come right off. I'll just flip it on the other side here, and I'll push with my finger. You see that? It's a it's like a valve. So we're gonna put it back here. All right, and we're gonna put back the nut on there. Okay, I'm going to drill a very small hole in the valve here, and I'm going to drill it right through the valve. So a very small hole, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or, or less than two millimeter. That's all we need, and I will explain the, to you later why I drilled a hole in the valve here. Okay, this is going to be my waste valve. It's a one-way valve. And again, I'm going to have to remove this spring here. Okay, because the water is going to go this way and the valve has to stay on the open position so that the, the water goes through and then eventually the water is going to push the valve close. And then it's going to open, close, open, close. So let's remove this spring right here. So there's a spring here. And there's my valve. Okay, what am I going I'm going to do is put this spring This spring here was on this side of the plate. I'm going to put it on the other side. Okay. So I don't know if you can see the spring now. It's on the other side. So the spring, now instead of the spring keeping the valve closed, the spring is gonna keep the valve open. Okay, now I'm gonna put back my, uh, my lock nut here. Okay. Yeah, so now the spring keeps the keeps the valve open. All right, my ramp pump is completed and I'm super excited to try it out now. Okay, guys. So this is a, a spring water, it flows like that year round, and I'm about to attach my ramp pump to it. But first I'm going to lift the elbow here, so the flow of the water is going to, it's going to be really slow for a few seconds until the bed of the, the water table on the ground starts to rise, which it's already starting to do. So I'm not going to waste any time before the pressure builds up too high, I'm going to hook that up here. Okay, and now the table of the water is going to start rising slowly and uh, I'm going to have a lot of pressure here soon so hopefully my ramp pump is going to work uh, flawlessly. Alright, uh, so the table of water is starting to rise underground so I'm starting to get more and more flow. So probably in about 10 minutes uh, hopefully I get enough flow so my ramp pump uh, starts to work. Okay guys, as you can see, there's, it's starting to get more of a, more of a flow of water. It's been uh, almost 10 minutes now, so definitely the water table underground is rising. I'm getting more and more pressure. I think uh, maybe a few more minutes, I think it's going to be enough to make the ramp pump work. If not, 
I can remove this spring entirely inside that valve and it's going to require uh, a less flow of water. But I, I decided to keep this spring in there because I know how much more flow of water I'm going to get. And, if the, and I'm assuming if I remove this spring, once I get a lot of uh, water flow, it's going to go too fast. It's going to close on and off too fast. And um, it's not the most efficient way of having a ram pump. So I'll stop the recording now and I'll, I'll record in a few minutes once it starts to work. So there you go guys, it's working. Um, I find the rhythm a little bit slow. So uh, maybe I could either remove this spring altogether or maybe put a weaker spring. But, uh, oh, okay, so I just put it on. The, the rhythm seems to be getting a little faster, so uh, I'm going to stop the recording and then uh, wait about five minutes and, and show you what it looks like. But uh, it's working. Soon I will put the garden hose there and see if I can pump water uphill. Okay guys, you see that? You remember when I drilled a little hole in the uh, in the valve? Now you see the water squirting out. See that right here? So for a fraction of a second, the water goes back in the valve and it brings air into the, uh, the pressure reservoir, if you want to call that. So anyways, the, uh, the valve is about over here. So it's important that the hole is drilled below the valve. Okay, it's been pumping for about half an hour now, and as you can see, she's got a good heartbeat. Uh, maybe a bit fast. I don't know, according to the research I've done on the internet and all the YouTube videos I watch, it might be a bit fast. Um, you know, if you got experience with ram pumps, let me know if you think it's too fast. Uh, I can always put a, a bigger, a stiffer spring in the valve to make it go a bit slower. Now let me show you, this is a garden hose that I hooked up to it, and let's follow that garden hose. See it goes way up there. Um, I would assume that the elevation from the, uh, the ramp pump to the end of the garden hose here is about is almost 20 feet elevation. It doesn't look like that on camera, but it is a significant, significant amount of elevation. And look at that, look at that. That is fascinating. I just can't believe it how lucky I was to get it first shot like that. Just unbelievable. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.